Hey children, welcome back to High School Mathematics channel. If you are watching our channel for the first time, please click on the subscribe button and bell icon to receive more updates from us. Today we are going to learn Class 8, Chapter 3, Understanding Quadrilaterals, Exercise 3.4. See now question number 1. State whether true or false. See question number A. All rectangles are squares. No, it is false. Why? Because all squares are rectangles, but all rectangles are not squares. See now question number B. All rhombuses are parallelograms. Yes, it is true. See now question number C. All squares are rhombuses and also rectangles. Yes, it is also true. See now question number D. All squares are not parallelograms. The given statement is false statement. Why? Because all squares are parallelograms as opposite sides are parallel and opposite angles are equal. See now question number E. All kites are rhombuses. The given statement is false statement. Why? Because let us take an example. Length of the sides of a kite are not of same length. Here they have given all kites are rhombuses. That's why it is a false statement. See now question number F. All rhombuses are kites. Yes, it is true. Next, question number G. All parallelograms are trapeziums. Yes, this statement is also true statement. See next one, H. All squares are trapeziums. Yes, this statement is also true statement. See now, question number 2. Identify all the quadrilaterals that have four sides of equal length, four right angles. Let us see the solution. See now question number A. Rhombus and square are the quadrilaterals that have all four sides of equal length. See now question number B solution. Square and rectangle are the quadrilaterals that have four right angles. See now question number 3. Explain how a square is a quadrilateral, a parallelogram, a rhombus and a rectangle. Let us see the solution. Square is a quadrilateral because it has four sides. See second one. Square is a parallelogram because its opposite sides are parallel and opposite angles are equal. See now third question, third sum. Square is a rhombus because all the four sides are of equal length and diagonals bisect each other. See now third question, fourth sum. Square is a rectangle because each interior angle of the square is 90 degrees. See now question number 4. Name the quadrilaterals whose diagonals bisect each other. Example, parallelogram, rhombus, square and rectangle. Next, we have to name the quadrilaterals whose diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other. Example, rhombus and square. Next, we have to name the quadrilaterals whose diagonals are equal. For that example is rectangle and square. See now question number 5. Explain why a rectangle is a convex quadrilateral. Let us see the solution. Rectangle is a convex quadrilateral because both of its diagonals will lie inside the rectangle. See now question number 6. ABC is a right angle triangle. And O is the midpoint of the side opposite to the right angle. Explain O is equidistant from A, B and C. Here A, B, C is a right angle triangle and here O is the midpoint of the side opposite to the right angle. This is right angle. So for this right angle opposite side this O is present. Now we have to explain O is equidistance that is equal distance from O that is A, O, B and O, C. All these are equal from this point O we have to explain. So here dotted lines we have taken to solve this sum easily. So let us see the solution. Here after drawing these dotted lines A, B and D, C we have drawn here so that A, D will be parallel to B, C and A, B is parallel to D, C. Now this A, B, C, D is a rectangle. Why? Because here opposite sides are, these are opposite sides and these are also opposite sides. All these are equal. 
and they are parallel to each other. These two lines are parallel and these two lines are parallel to each other. And all interior angles will be corners. So all these interior angles will be 90 degrees. You know, in a rectangle, diagonals are of equal length and they also bisect each other. Hence we can say AO is equal to OC and BO is equal to OD. Thus we can say O is equidistant from A, B and C. Today we have seen class 8 chapter 3 understanding quadrilaterals exercise 3.4. By this we have completed our exercise 3.4 and also we have completed our chapter 3 understanding quadrilaterals. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.